of people walking their adorable dogs. I want a dog. Give me your dog, it's so cute. You have two, you don't need both of them. What's up guys, I'm Candid Crandall and the other day I realized that I could never ever be on reality television for a couple reasons. I hate surprise twists. I get mad when I go to an M. Night Shyamalan film and there's a twist. Damn you M. Night for tricking me again. If I were on a reality television show and I were living in a house and they were just like, surprise, your ex is gonna come live here. You can go F yourself, I'm leaving. All the things that happen on the Real Housewives shows and The Hills where they like encourage the people to fight with one another. All right, we need you to get in a fight with so-and-so because why? Because she said she didn't like your purse. Cool, it's my purse. What? I am not really a people person. Like on Survivor, for example, the point is that one person wins, right? So I would have a really hard time making alliances with people and all of that stuff, knowing that in the end, if I win, it means that no one else is winning. And if someone else wins, it means that I'm not winning. And I'm not cool with that because if I am cool with not winning, why am I putting myself through 30 whatever days of torture on an island? Also, I just know for a fact that I could not deal with all of these stereotypical people that they cast in reality television shows. The person who is not here to make friends, when they first get there, they let everyone know that they don't want to make friends, so you better not even try to be friends with that person. But then when you're mean to them, they're like, whoa, you got a problem with me? And you're like, I thought you said that you weren't here to make friends. The person who has a significant other waiting for them at home and they are hoping that being on the show doesn't negatively impact said relationship. There is always a person that once they get in the door, they immediately start assessing their chances of sleeping with every other person in the house. That person knows, usually within the first 24 hours, who they have a chance to hook up with and who they have no chance with. The social outcast who explains from the very beginning how this whole thing is out of their comfort zone, but they're gonna do the show anyway. I'm here, but I don't wanna be here. I wanna distance myself from it. Like, if you don't wanna be there, don't sign all the papers. Come on, it's not like a surprise that there were cameras there. Yeah, can't really deal with those people. For all of those reasons, I just don't think I would ever get past the interview process. Maybe I fall into the category of the person who is out of their comfort zone, but the difference between me and that person is I would be like, no, I'm not signing your papers, I don't want to do this, and I wouldn't even be at the audition in the first place, so there's that. Let me know down in the comments some of your thoughts on reality television. I would love to discuss them. If you don't already, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Blogspot, and Instagram. Username. Candid Crandall. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again on Thursday. Bye!